are power slap fighters on more money than UFC fighters? Well, according to Dana White, who's been on a number of podcasts this week, he's been talking about men's mental health and power slap fighters and possibly giving us a little insight into how much money they're actually making. Well, I found the whole situation pretty fucking crazy. So we're going to take a look at it now. There's this kid who calls himself Terp Daddy Slim. He just did an interview with, with a, uh, a reporter. They were, he was like, how's the money? And power slap. And he's like, how's the money? Interesting take from Dana White on this one. Normally he dodges questions around fighter pay in the USC, but with power slap, he's very eager and impressed and almost excited to talk about their fighter pay. This thing has completely changed my life. My life sucked. Okay. I lived down in Florida at a nine to five job, worked at the swamp all day. I come home, I'd be, I was exhausted and I'd go to sleep every night. He says, my house is paid off. My car's paid off. I'm about to buy a boat. I'd never been to Las Vegas before. I'd seen it on TV. And just for the record, everybody, it's better in real life than it is on TV. And like this guy just gave like the greatest interview of all time. Talk about an humble brag. I mean, the guy was so excited. He was frothing at the mouth talking about fire to pay and power slap. In comparison, there is a pay disparity in the UFC, which has been talked about a lot. And some fighters are still taking second jobs just to make ends meet while fighting in the UFC, one of the biggest promotions in the world. And we know about the percentage revenue that the UFC keep in comparison to the fact what the fighters make. So we're going to do a little comparison with Jeff Neal and uh, Tip Daddy Slim. So we're over here on Austin Tierpin's Tapology page. And if we scroll down, we'll notice his fight record here. And it was on this, this uh, podcast of Dana White was before the latest fight. Uh, they only just dropped it this week though. Our, so he'd only had four fights, uh, three wins, one loss, and he's managed to pay off his house, his car, and buy a fucking boat. So why is this important? Because I'm going to compare it to Jeff Neal and where he was at uh, four fights into his UFC contract and the comparison between Tierpin, who's rolling in it by the sounds of it, and Dana White bragging about how much money he's getting paid compared to what Jeff Neal was going through four fights into his UFC contract. We're over on Jeff Neal's Tapology page now. And if we scroll down a little bit and check out his fight record, he came into the UFC through the Contender Series. So we won't count the Contender Series fights, but from there after. Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four. So it was just after the Nico Price fight. And so he was due to fight Mike Perry. And Jeff Neal ended up doing an interview. I think it was after the Nico Price fight, um, post-fight interview. He was talking about um, how he's still working a second job. And during that fight camp, uh, the week before he flew out to the UFC in Canada, he was still he was still working. He worked the night before, stayed up all night working, and then caught a flight straight from work to the, the UFC fight week. Which is crazy when you compare it to Austin Tierpin and what Austin Tierpin is going through after four or five. Last Saturday, I worked uh, from what, four to like two o'clock in the morning. My flight was leaving at 7 a.m. So I just stayed up, packed everything and uh, left my apartment at uh, 5.30 and uh, came straight to Canada. This interview took place at UFC 240 Fight Week. It was just before he was about to fight Nico Price. At the same time in his career, Mr. Slim Daddy fucking Tierpin was buying fucking swamp boats and houses and cars. I'm, no, I don't want to be a server, but uh, I still want to, until I find another uh, revenue of income, you know what I mean? Right now, serving is like that other income, but once I find something else that brings money in the house besides the UFC, then I'll uh, stop serving. It's crazy to think that we live in a world where slap fighting could pay more than fighting in the UFC. People like Jeff Neal taking on second jobs just to make ends meet. At the same point in the career as a slap fighter who's paid off his house, his car, and he's buying swamp boats. Is this the way that we want to move forward in combat sports? Probably not. Do slap fighters deserve more money than UFC fighters? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, subscribe. Fuck off.